Okay, so I had to share some more with you um, from the book, What Does It Mean to Be Human? Um, I think I showed it last time. I am just reading, reading more and more in this book. It's one of those books that you can't put down. And in reading this book, there's some sadness. Um, people are losing hope in humanity. And I wasn't expecting that from this book. I'm expecting this book to be happy and to make me happy, but uh, what it's been doing is causing me to think, what does it mean to be human? I'm not going to share the sad quotes with you, the things that people are realizing of how um, mean we can really be. I'm going to share some things that are very uplifting, but if you want to read a book that is going to help you think about humanity and how you as an individual, you as a part of a community, you as a part of a city, you as a part of a state, of a country, of the world, can make changes um, with an open heart, this is the book for you. Um, there is a section in here by David Krieger. And he is the president of the Nuclear Age Peace Foundation. And the question is, what is it to be human? To be human is to break the, the ties of culture conformity and groupthink and to use one own mind. It is to act with conscience and to consider with heart. To be human is to be courageous. It is to choose the path of compassion rather than the path of complacency. It is to sacrifice for what is just. To be human is to breathe with the rhythm of life and to recognize our kinship with all forms of life. It is to stand in awe of who we are and where we live. It is to see the earth with the eyes of an astronaut. To be human is to be aware of our dependence upon the whole of the universe and to know the miracle that we are. It is to live with deep respect for the sacred gift of life. It is to love. To be human is to seek to find ourselves behind our names. It is to learn from those who have preceded us and to act with due concern for those who will follow us. It is to be a healer of the planet. It is to take a firm stand against all who will profit from warfare and its preparation. To be human is not always to succeed, but it is always to learn. It is to move forward despite the obstacles. We are all born with the potential to become human. How we choose to live will be the measure of our humanness. We must each find our own path to becoming human. I love that. It just encompasses so many things. And my favorite line is that we have to find ourselves beyond our names and then we'll find our humanity. Oh. I was talking to my mother the other day, and she said that she wouldn't name me this name that I have. My grandmother, who was a, it was a very strong patriarch, took over and named me. And sometimes I always wonder who I would be if I didn't have this name, but oh well. Um, I also wanted to <laughs> end with uh, a couple of poems. One is by Yehudi Mihuin, who was a famous musician and educator. He is now deceased. And what does it mean to be human? We were granted the greatest gift of all, life, soul, mind, and the capacity of wonder. Nothing was expected in return, save to give our blessing and affection and protection as would satisfy a thousand lives. Yet we chose to turn our back, betraying trust and beauty. What an ugly transformation into confrontation, condemnation, exploitation, we withheld our blessing and affection and protection that would have satisfied a thousand lives. At the threshold of this new decade, let us turn again. It's not too late. And start at the beginning. Honor all life in its variety. Honor the soul in all its mystery. And build a new world in our mind. A healthy world to live in for mankind. And patiently accord the passage of all time.
its ever richer harvest of support and inspiration. Let us give our blessing and affection and protection as would satisfy a thousand lives. <laughs>